Well, hello, my YouTube fans um, and everyone else. Uh, hello, my chess fans, especially. So today, um, I'm going to, I was going to do a chess puzzle, but uh, instead I'm going to make an announcement. Uh, if you haven't heard, um, we now have a, you know, U.S. chess candidate to play against Magnus Carlsen for the world championship title. Now, if that doesn't seem like a big deal to you, uh, I want to remind you that we have not had a U.S. chess, world chess champion, or as far as I know, even a candidate to play against the current champion since Bobby Fischer. Uh, we're looking at 40, dec uh, 40 years, four decades or more. I, I don't know the exact date. But, um, yes, it's been a very long time. Now, we've had, you know, U.S. Cha champions, and we've had, you know, lots of great, you know, GMs and stuff. But for the person to take the world title home, uh, there's been many chess players like Vishyanan, who held the title five times, and of course Gary Kasparov before him, and th stuff like that. Um, many of these people are my favorites. But we haven't had a U.S. citizen chess champion, world chess champion, since Bobby Fischer. And personally, I kind of like the I'm a fan of the gentleman of chess. You know, I, I, I always liked uh, Vichy Anand. Uh, I've always liked um, um, Gary Kasparov. You know, there's there's quite a few grandmasters out there of not, not of the United States that were gentlemen of chess, I call them. Um, but, you know, um, since I was, what, about 18 or 16? You know, I'm 58 years old. <laughs> Uh, we haven't had a U.S. chess world chess champion, or even a candidate for that matter, I think. So now we have Fabiano Caruana. So for this announcement, I'm going to simply show you the game, the last game, um, and you have to excuse the, um, the sloppiness in which I switch this over. Um, let's. Uh, so I'm going to switch it now, and then I'm going to go to the other screen. So, um, yeah, I haven't had the luck with the hot key. I'm supposed to be able to hit a button, and it changes over to the other screen. But um, in any case, um, for now, I'll just uh, do it sloppily. And I didn't take a look at the time before I started making this recording. So we're just going to have to let that ch clock chiming slide. <laughs> it is 11 p.m. here. Yes, so this is the uh, last game between Grish Grishuk and uh, Fabiano. Uh, Car Caruana and Fab... Uh, excuse me, I'm, I'm tongue twisted here. Fabiano Caruana playing black and Alexander Grishuk playing white. And it was a, I believe, a 60 move game. Let's uh, take a look. Yes, just 60 moves. Um, so, again, we have not had, I want to get this, I want to get this perfectly clear in your head. We have not had a U.S. chess champion, world chess champion, since Bobby Fischer. And now we have another gentleman. I met this guy. I met I met Caruana. We played a simultaneous. I don't know if I have the photos handy. I, I might be able to find it. Um, I played in a simultaneous uh, here in New Jersey. He came a couple years ago, and uh, of course I got my butt kicked. But I won't, I won't get into that game. Um, but yes, uh, Fabiano Caruana is a uh, very decent uh, uh, young man who. Um, who is started his career as a teenager, uh, perhaps, I mean, I'm sure he played since he was a, kid, a small kid, um, but uh, we got to know him um, no earlier 
than 17, I think. Anyway, I began to know him as, you know, on, on the Chess 24 and things like that. But in any case, Fabiano had done amazingly well in, in one of the Sinkfield Cups. And then he had some bad luck in other tournaments around the world. And now he's come back to play in the Candidates, um, which was played, where was it played? Well, anyway, um, uh, St. Louis uh, um, Club was covering it on YouTube. And uh, this was the last game. So I'm not going to analyze it. I'm just going to show it to you quickly. Um, you may not be able to see the bottom right corner of the moves because my face is probably there. But um, So this was uh, the Petrov defense. And... Um, there was there was a, a, a lot of uh, excitement during the whole game, and it was like the last game, not just the last game of the of the tournament, but it was the, the I mean the last game of Caruana's, but it was also the last game played yesterday. It was the last game. This is the one that lasted for the longest. Uh, everybody else was finished, and they were still playing on. If you want. Um, an expert analytical view of this game, I highly recommend Agadmators. Agadmators? Agadmators. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce it. It's A G A D M A T O R, uh, um, which uh, you, you'll either be able to find the link in my YouTube channel. Uh, I've posted videos of, you know, I've, I've liked his videos. Uh, he is amazing. He, he's, I believe, he, he's a, um, he shouts from, from uh, Italy. Um, but um, if uh, if I can, I'll, I'll I'll put a link to his channel, um, or even to this to his video about Carol about this game, in in my uh, in my post or in my comments somewhere. But I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He's very well known, and a lot of people uh, really like him. Yeah, he gives a, he gives an amazing expert um, commentation on on this game. But here I'm just showing it to you just because, just because um, it is the game that nailed, you know, for sure the the um, um, person who was going to represent the United States um, playing for the World Chess Championship. Let's go a little faster. So um, yes, obviously Magnus Carlsen is the current world champion. He took that from Vishyanand, and they played in India at the time. This one is going to be played in November, uh, I believe, in London. So Caruana and uh, Magnus Carlsen will be traveling to London. And uh, I don't know the exact date and times, but I'm sure you'll be able to find out. So by the time I got up to here, um, I'm just going to give you some quick... Uh, there was a couple of moves. This they, they were saying basically this is this is already a finished game now. Caruana would have had to really blunder badly to to move this game, but essentially what was going on was that Caruana could have drawn this game and still been playing for for Magnus Carlsen. But I think I think the attitude was he was sending Caruana. I mean he was sending Magnus Carlsen a message by playing it out and showing that he can win with the black pieces against um, Chris Shook who who. Um, was um, doing well enough in the, in the in the tournament. So there it is. It's a little bit of back and forth, and there was the last few moves, and that was basically, you know, oh, it was more than sixty moves. I'm sorry, it was closer to seventy. It was sixty nine moves. So, but it was understood by the sixtieth move that uh, it was basically won. But uh, this was they played it to the last, and. Um, Grishuk uh, decided, you know, that's time to resign. It's been past time to resign. Um, as you can see, uh, Caruana has uh, uh, the obvious uh, severe advantage. He's got a, a, a pawn ready to uh, promote, and uh, he's got a rook ahead and things like that. So it's, it, there's just no way that Grishuk could have played any further. So the main thing about this video, again, was just simply to make the announcement to our fellow Americans. I know that a lot of you are not American, but um, 
But uh, to my fellow Americans, we have finally, after probably more than four decades, a U.S. chess champion candidate. And um, I know just by you know just by watching his games and by meeting him the one time that I met him here in New Jersey when he did the the uh, the simultaneous with uh, you know and I was part of that just meeting him um I know how much he wants this um this young man is uh is going to do the job I believe he's you know I I uh, and if, and if he doesn't take the the title from 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 Magnus um it's still, even just to be the person that, that represents the United States for, for more than four decades um, in, a, in a chess, you know, world championship um, is, is an exciting thing, to, you know, as it is. And of course, it's a lot of pressure on him too, so. And there'll be, like I said also, I believe they'll be playing in London, so it's not going to be uh, on the other side of the planet so much. <laughs> Uh, there'll be some jet lag, I'm sure, but uh, Magnus Carlsen will also have some jet lag as well, so we'll see. We'll see. All I can say now is, is that I'm going to be watching whatever other, because he's going to be preparing, he's going to be playing other tournaments, and I'm going to be trying to watch him a little bit closer. Um, for um, For the rest of the games, you can go to The Week in Chess, and you can download this at PGN and use your own, um, you know, chess database or whatever chess program you want to use to to show. In fact, I can uh, I can show you how this works. Um, oops, sorry about that. Okay, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, here we go. Um, so here is the PGN of the entire tournament. Okay. Um, I know you may not be able to see this very clearly. I'm going to try to, um, you know, I know it's fine print. I'm going to try to upload this with the highest resolution. But you can see this is the entire tournament. Um, all all uh, 56 games. And you can see the bottom game, if, if you could see it, is the Grisho Carolina game. And you can see the way they do it. This is round 14. At the bottom, there's one, two, three, four uh, rounds, 14, and there's four 13s, there's four 12s, etc. So you can see how this works. You can get this PGN and open it up with any um, PGN viewer, any even freebie chess programs that I've mentioned in my other videos, like for example, Mayura Chess or, or Lucas Chess, or even download this uh, freebie. Uh, um, what I'm using right now, the chess database. Um, so there you have it. We have an American champion candidate. So let's all wish him luck and let's uh, get off of that and uh, comments, questions, and uh, keep on playing. Thanks for watching.